Log on to patreon.com forward slash Dane Calloway or paypal.me forward slash Dane Calloway to support me, my channel, and my content. Any amount is very much appreciated, and I humbly thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I definitely wanted to get inside of this topic uh, briefly with you guys because there's a lot of information I don't want to cover uh, that I didn't get a chance to mention in my last vlog. And in my last vlog, I did promise you that I'm definitely going to be going into further depth with this information concerning the Nat Turner topic of the reason why his historic sites and artifacts are being removed or dismantled rather. Unfortunately, I discovered a lot of stuff that people are probably not going to like. Okay, uh, but first, before I jump into that, let me definitely shout out the people that have been donating to me and supporting me because that helped me get most of this information and as well as come out here to document uh, this information. And I want to jump straight into it because there are, are multiple books that are being published uh, and movies, you know, uh, concerning the Nat Turner story. And it's just that it's just concerning the Nat Turner story and this is what I want to mention. All of this information that's being publicized right now is definitely not adding up. It's not adding up. And I'm going to break down why. Number one, what evidence do we have to lay claim to the Nat Turner story? Not much. I mean, because there's no grave sites. There's no bones. Uh, all the historical houses has, have been removed from its loca original location. Uh, the historic houses that were at its original location has been dismantled. So there's no true information about Nat, just the story that we were told about him. And number two, I, I wanna definitely go into the story, you know, of Nat Turner. Those, those dates are not adding up. Those dates are not adding up. How is it that you kill all of these people, okay? All these white people, men, women, and children within a 24 hour span then two days later, you get halted by the militant men. You all everything that they just stopped, the, they quelled the revolt in two days. Now we talking about the 1830s here, okay? Mid 1800s. There was no internet. There was no cell phone. How did they get that word that quick? Not only that, they captured him right then and there, or locked him up rather captured him that's the terminology that they used and he was sitting in jail all the way until november uh, 11th on his trial date so what white man you know was gonna let a quote-unquote black man sit in jail after killing 50 to 70 white people sit in jail during that time period because to, to go back, let me go back a little bit, because to catch him, that I, how, how, I, I'm down here. This is a lot of land to cover. These houses are not next door to each other. That's a lot of land. How did you catch him? The houses were not side by side. That's impossible to do that within what, 24 to 48 hours, that's impossible. How do you know where he was? But yet he was caught, tried and hanged three months later. That just don't sound right. It, it, that doesn't add up. Number three, where are his pictures? Where are the authentic pictures of Nat Turner? Okay, I mean, I went to the Library of Congress. I went to multiple libraries and I tried my very best to find an authentic picture of Nat Turner and the National Archives. And they usually on top of everything, okay? Even if the government didn't like it, see? Now, when you go to Google and type in pictures of Nat Turner, they showing you pictures of a young Frederick Douglass. Hello? Hello? Does this add up to you? Dred Scott. Okay, the one where they when he went to court to try to fight for his rights as a quote unquote black man. And and the judge was like, uh, y'all don't have no rights. 
They're going to sit up there and say, Nat Turner had a lawyer. I'm going to get into that in a second. But mind you, Dred Scott is from the exact same area Nat Turner is allegedly from. South Hampton County, Virginia. Okay? They born a year apart from each other. All right? Now, how come the National Archives and the LOC got authentic pictures of Dred Scott and he was in court just as well as Nat Turner was, allegedly. And you ain't got no pictures of Nat Turner, but you got pictures of Dred Scott. Not only that, you, Department of Historic Resources in Virginia, you can sit there and tell me when the first African slaves was imported here in the United States, okay? And then you can tell me when the first African slaves made it and created the first African-American baby in America. You could document that, but you can't give me a picture of Nat Turner. You can't give me, hold on now. You can't give me his mother's first and last name, his father's first and last name, date of birth, place of birth, see there? Where, where, this, where is this information? And, and so now, they done created a movie saying, oh, Nat Turner had a son, and he had a wife. Now, all of a sudden, they got proof, but what about his lawyer's documents from 1831? What about those? His alleged lawyer was a racist, bigoted, white immigrant named Thomas Gray, who was dead broke. He kept spending his money on gambling, uh, right there with, 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 I think his name is French. I'm gonna pull it up. Gambling, all of his money, but they gonna say he's smart because he went to a university now, got his little lawyer degree. And number one, he wasn't Nat Turner's lawyer. But they gonna sit up there and use his book that he created, okay, in order for him to gain money so he could not be broke no more and go create the first official book stating Confessors of Nat Turner in 1831. Now, where have we heard this before? You created and published that book after Nat Turner died. This don't ring a bell to y'all? Alex Haley? Autobiography of Malcolm X got released after he died? Said he sat right there and wrote all that down. They came out and said that was fictitious. And you think Thomas Gray telling you the truth? He sat down there with Nat Turner. You think Nat Turner gonna sit in jail and tell this white boy after he done killed a whole bunch of white people, he gonna sit there and tell a white boy why he did it, where he came from, what's going on? Oh, my family from here, my wife name is? None of that is adding up to me. Is it adding up to you? Thomas Ruffin Gray. It says right here that he represented several slaves in court. He didn't represent Nat Turner. Who represented Nat Turner was French. Uh, his, his first name was James French. James Strange French. His middle name is Strange. Represented Nat Turner in court. Allegedly now, because th this is based off the documents that's in the uh, National Archives. So don't get it confused, you know, that uh, Thomas Ruffer Gray was Nat Turner's lawyer. No, he wasn't. It was James Strange French that was his lawyer. Thomas just so happened to be there, okay? Trying to document all this stuff as much as he can so he can make some money. He was broke, big time gambling. He ain't had no money. He put out that Confessors of Nat Turner book to get money and was very successful doing it. And that also helped uh, other white settlers, okay, with knowing how to treat people that were rebellion. Because rebellion, because see, keep in mind, it was multiple raids happening at that time. Multiple Indian raids happening at that time period. During that time period, especially in Virginia. So I, I could get pictures of James French, I could get pictures of Thomas Gray, but I'm talking about authentic pictures, but I can't get no pictures of Nat Turner 
all these other books that came after 1831 and the movies as well was all based off of information coming from Thomas Gray okay that he alleged in, 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 in publicized in his book and we gonna believe him after what Nat Turner just did we gonna believe a white man to tell the story about Nat Turner not only that it was admitted in the court documents that I have right now Thank you all for donating because I was able to purchase this costly doc these costly documents. You can't pull this up. You can't pull this up. I got it. Okay, now also what was mentioned in there was the fact that that whole entire story was fictitious. Okay, and then on top of that, when it was publicized in 1831, it was publicized in the fictional section. Not only that when it was revised and published again by uh, William Stryman, or, or what was his name? No, Stryman, something like that. William Stryman in 1960, that was also put in the fictional section. And it was also called Confessors of Nat Turner. William was born in Southampton. Thomas was born in Southampton. And the, oh, okay, so the same white people that he was killing gonna be the same white people to tell his story see all, all this was about money all of this was about money you don't have evidence but nothing but the story that thomas gray created like right now if we didn't know nothing about malcolm x everybody would believe everything that uh alex haley put inside of that book about malcolm x here and malcolm x's own family came out and told you that wasn't real so i'm gonna sit here and tell you based off of me doing these travelings and and looking at this land and trying to add everything up, looking at how far the court was from, listen, that whole entire story was fictitious. Nat Turner did not give up his names of his family members, his children, not, none of that. Where he was, none of that. All that stuff was made up and made to look good so Steve, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Thomas Gray can make some money. That's what that was. He was gambling. Him and his other white boys were spending that money they needed another way to make that money, okay? They capitalized off of a Nat Turner story that they created, see? And see, and that's, that's the problem that I have right there. Because see, mind you, I said earlier, mind you, there were multiple Indian slave rebellions occurring during that time period, especially in Virginia. And the alleged one that they duly noted and historically publicized is Nat Turner's. See, I'm, this is this is the reason why I'm here. This is the reason why I'm here. 